Hi friends, it's Julie Golding Page, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in St. Stephen, New Brunswick, Canada, along the tidal Scudic or St. Croix River, the traditional territory of the Passamaquoddy. And I'm grateful that they share this beautiful place with us. Today I have a, another episode of Kit and Cuppa for you. So this is when you grab a beverage and just put up your feet and relax and watch me make one card out of an all-inclusive kit. So you can get kind of a sneak peek at the kits, see how they work, and maybe choose one that you like. Um, I wanted to mention too today that there is a paper pumpkin kit. You can see all the cute stuff in this one. Um, this uh, kit is coming out soon and it's going to have these lovely little uh, village buildings in it. I have a class where you can join, even if you've never ever tried a kit before. Um, these are designed for beginners and for people who are not crafty. So if you'd like to join me and try the kit out, um, I will uh, provide the link for that later after the broadcast is done or just message me and I'll be happy to help you out. So that class uh, will be open for registration until um, I believe it's the 8th of October. Yeah, because uh, the kit itself has to be ordered shortly after that and then it's done. So I just want to show you this one today. So let's have a look. So this is a paper pumpkin kit, as is the one I'll be using in the class. This one, you can see it's called Meaningful Flowers, and it's from August 2023. And if you're not familiar with paper pumpkin, these all-inclusive kits are really, really fun. And um, I like them a lot, and so does my daughter, who's 12. And so I thought I'd just unbox it for you here today so you can see what they're like. Now, oftentimes... Um, to people who buy these kits, they will also give a nice little bonus. So there's often a really cool extra thing. So this month's kit, uh, the Home for the Holidays Christmas one, or holiday one, uh, will have some glitter glue added as an extra. Now the one I'm looking at here from August, it has the regular stamp set. They'll all come with that. It has an ink spot, so you can see that one there. And it had an extra stamp set, so there was a free stamp set. So I like it that they include these extra little touches. It just makes it a lot more fun and gives you a lot of value too. I like also how they have this pretty paper. There's always a different color every time. And then you just open it up and here's what we've got. So I'm just gonna move the box out of the way here so we can craft a little easier. So it's all enclosed in plastic. And you can see on the back here, that's the instructions. And so let's use the scissors and we'll open this up and get right to it. So let's see. These paper pumpkin kits, or any kits in fact, that you get from Stampin' Up! will come with the adhesives included as well. So kits are great if you've never tried crafting before or if you are a long-standing paper crafter and you wanna to go to a cafe or you wanna take it on the road or to a friend's house, um, these kits are perfect because they have everything in there that you need. So this tape here is called Terran tape. And so I'll get to show you what that is a little bit later. It's really simple to use. And this looks like some linen thread. Here's some little embellishments, very nice. And these are our adhesives, the little hexagonal stamp and dimensionals. So we'll just put them off to the side as well. And then here are all our pieces. So let's have a look at our instructions. They also provide a very convenient page to show you how to find all the supplies for a particular card. So let's see, let's do that. So let's look at this first page here. This just shows all the pieces that you want for your card. So I think we'll do card number two here. This one's pretty as well, but I think I'd like to do this one. And so we need an envelope and a card base. Uh, so I think that's meant to be the card base. Let's have a look and see if that's true. Yeah, so here's the card base. So we've got that. We'll also need one of these little papers and that's going to be this one. So we'll put it right side up. Okay. And I'm just going to move these out of the way so that you can see a little better. So there's the pieces we've got so far. So these two, we need a block. Now the very first paper pumpkin kit that you buy, they include a block and then afterwards they don't because they know that you have one. So let's just bring one of my existing blocks over. And they have the little embellishments. So let's open those up so we have them ready. 
Oh, and I should say too, that if you like this particular kit, you can get it a refill right now on the Stampin' Up! website. If As long as you're buying this month's kit, anybody who is uh, can get these older kits, if there are any left from a previous release, at a really big discount. So the refills that they offer do not include the stamp sets or the ink, so you wouldn't get any of that. So you'd supply your, old, your own stamp set and your own ink, but you'd have all the paper pieces and adhesives that you see here, and those are just $15. So this kit without these pieces, so everything that is in the kit here except for these three pieces is available for $15 right now, which is a real steal. And if you need to know how to order that, just let me know and I'll be happy to help you out. Okay, so we need this beautiful flower. Oh, speaking of beautiful flowers, I should show you. Here's the envelopes. So the envelopes are always fancy and decorative as well. And look inside too. I just love the envelopes. I think they're so nice. Okay, so let's see what other pieces we need. So this is the other card base that we're not going to do right now. And let's see what else we need here. So those are flowers for the other card. Oh yes, so here's the flower that we do need. So we're just gonna punch that out. There it is right there. So we have all these pieces so far and we need that one as well. And we just saw those, there it is. Okay, and then it's talking about more adhesive. So, um, this is the hexagonal stamp and dimensional, so they're the foam adhesive. So let's take them right out of the packet too, so you can see. So that's what they look like, really nice little things. And then we need the tear and tape as well. So let's get that tear and tape out, and we'll include that too. Okay, so if you're joining me today, please let me know if you've ever tried a paper crafting kit before. You don't need to be crafty in any way. They're meant for absolute beginners who are new to the hobby. And in fact, I like to tell people that I am not a crafty person. The only thing I do is paper crafting. I like paper, but don't ask me to sew or, you know, any of those things or make 3D items. No, that's just not my thing, but I'm, I'm somebody that really enjoys making cards and giving them away to people so that it will make their day. Okay, so I think we've got all of the papers there that we need. So we'll just fold it over, look for card number two, there it is, and there's the instructions. So we need our ink spot. This one is Pretty Peacock. So we're gonna just open that up, there it is. And we want a sentiment. So this one says, you are capable of amazing things. All right, so let's look at that one. So this is in the little stamp set. You're capable of amazing things. There's also some flowers and looks like a lily pad maybe. You rise above the rest and your friendship is unforgettable. So we're going to be stamping this where? Right onto that lily pad there. So let's see how we want to do that. So you can just kind of place the sentiment over and see which ones will fit on there. I think I'll do exactly what they said, but you could do your friendship is unforgettable. That would work too. So here's how to use the photopolymer stamps. Um, so I was just visiting the uh, Stampin' Up! factory in Utah this summer, and they took us on a tour so you just stick it onto your block like that so that the bumpy side is up because that's the part that you want to stamp. And I saw how all of these photopolymer stamps are made in giant sheets that they hang. And they always tell you that there is a factory coating on them. And I always wondered what that was and if it was toxic to do this. So we're always told that the way to get the factory coating off is to use our thumbs and fingers to just kind of uh, let the oils from our skin seep in and take away that coating. And I wondered if that was safe. Well, I found out what the factory coating is, and it turns out they wash the stamps after they make them, and it's dish soap. So <laughs> you don't have to worry anymore if it's a toxic substance you're putting on your fingertips. It's actually dish soap. All right, so we remove that coating, that dish soap, and we will try this out. So the reason they give you this little cardboard in your kit is you need a cushion under these photopolymer stamps. Unlike rubber stamps that have a cushion built right in, these ones do not, as you can see. 
and so I'm going to try it out. I always like to try out my stamps because sometimes, like this one, you get a really juicy ink pad that might be a little juicier than you thought it was. And see all that ink on there? It might be a little too much. So let's just see. Oh, well, it's stamped okay, actually. But I'm just going to use my chamois here. This is another thing you can get from Stampin' Up. Another environmentally friendly one because you'd use it over and over. You just wet it with water, no cleaners involved, just this foamy stuff, and you can use it as many times as you need to, and then rinse it out after you're done until it stops, um, till, till color stops running out of it, basically. So that's, that's really all you need to do. So, okay, so that's good. We've got that all cleaned. Let's try that again. And now I know this ink pad's quite juicy. So I'm just going to go fairly easy with my tapping. Some of them need a little more uh, enthusiasm about it, but this one seems like it's pretty full of ink. So it's always good to try them out just to make sure. Let's try that again. And you just hold it for a few seconds. And there you go. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's try it out on our piece of paper. So here's our flower and we're going to stamp right on there, right on the lily pad. So the good thing about this is it's a colored paper and it'll be very forgiving even if your ink is a little blobby or you missed a little spot. Because it's a colored paper with some pattern, you won't notice as much. So let's have a look. That might have a little too much ink, but let's give it a go see if what I said really holds true and it looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. Look at that. So actually getting it a little bit uneven because mine wasn't completely even actually makes it look, I think, more interesting because there's this distressed look to the paper itself. And that looks really quite nice. So I'm happy with that. All right, let's put our ink aside and once again, I'm going to clean off my stamp right away. I always try to clean my stamps and close my ink pads as soon as I'm done with them. Um, now the ink comes off the stamps no matter how long it's been there. It might stain them slightly, but it doesn't hurt them any. Um, but what I find is if I leave my stamps um, with the ink on them, or if I leave my ink pad open, I'm liable to put my arm or my hand or my project on top of it by mistake, and that's not what I want. So I always try to do that first thing. Okay, so we've stamped that. Let's go ahead and what are we gonna do next? Okay, they're putting tear and tape on the edges of that little colored vellum piece, I believe it is. Isn't that nice? I really like that. So you can tell which side's the back side. Um, because it's not very bright compared to the front. So we're going to put the tear and tape along the edge on the back side. And I will get to show you how to use this. So you have to find where the end of it is. So there it is. You just peel it up. So this side is sticky. And oops, did I flip that? Yes, I did. Good. So we're going to put the sticky side down. Just like that. And we're going to put this on as well on this side. Again, sticky side down. And then it's called tear and tape because it's tape that you can just tear. So as you can see, I did not have to use scissors. I find it a really convenient thing to have around. And it comes in larger rolls than this. And it's usually thicker than this as well. But I think it's mm, a little bit less than $10 for a roll. So it's not very expensive and it lasts quite a while. All right, so we're going to take the backing off and that can be a little tricky if you don't have any fingernails. Um, but some people I've heard will use this tool to help them with adhesives, which is the take your pick tool. So it has putty on one end and sharp end on the other. So that can help for a lot of different things in your crafting. And let's see, we're just going to put this right at the bottom of the card. And that's all we're going to do right now. Okay, 
So that's what we did. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of paper that has all the colors and things on it that we're just working with. We're going to flip it over and put these little hexagons on the back. And you can see they even show you where to put them if you're not sure. These are always only suggestions. You don't have to do anything they suggest. You can just make it up as you go if you wish. But um, I find their instructions are really good. And they have um, professional designers uh, do all of their kits and their stamps and their papers for them. Professional artists make the papers. Um, and so I find the stuff is top notch. And so I usually follow their instructions, but you're definitely free to do what you like. All right. So let's see, we're going to take that and we're going to put it on our card base. So this is going to be pretty simple. And as you can see, um, this really is pretty easy to do. I just opened this right now. You saw me take the plastic wrap off and I didn't prepare in any way to do this. I just picked it out of the box and started. And so it's, it's pretty simple to do. So now we're going to take that piece of paper and what they've done here, which is really cool, they've put it underneath that layer of vellum so you can read the sentiment through and it looks like it's kind of underwater. So let's just sort of put that under and see what that's going to look like. Okay, so I'm finding it a little difficult to get underneath there, but you can. And I might suggest that you put it on this way. Let's see if that's any better to read it through. I don't know. I find it's a little hard to read. So you know what? I'm going to put mine on top of it because I think it's too hard to read through there. But you can decide. And this is a case of where they suggest one thing, but I'm doing something a little different because I don't find that's very easy to read, especially uh, anyone who has trouble with their eyesight. I don't think they're going to notice that message. So I'm just going to put it above the waterline and we'll put it on right there. So again, I'm going to use my dimensionals. So let's see. Let's just put a few of those on. A little of those goes a long way, I find. They stick really, really well. I've been using these for a long time. Okay, so you can kind of decide how far up you want that to be. And then you can go ahead and stick it down. And the last step they have for this card is to put seven of the little embellishments. They're putting three large and four small. And then you can kind of see where they put them. So they've got small, large. I think that one's small, small, large, large, small. So they even suggest the positioning of these things. But you can decide, and you don't have to use all of them either. Um, sometimes I do it their way, and sometimes I just make it up myself. But let's just try their way first, and we'll see what we think. How about that? All right, so let's put one maybe there. And this is where I'm going to use that take your pick tool because I think that's going to help. We're going to use, whoops, the putty end here. And you can see the sharp end as well. So you know what it looks like. So I just put the putty end down on one of those little adhesive dots. And I'm going to pick it up. And where did they put it? Kind of up here-ish. There, so we place that. Now the big ones I find are easier to just pick up. So I'm just going to kind of pick up that big one. And let's see, we'll put it like here maybe. That's good. And they had another large one there. Let's just put it there. I think that's fine. And then we want some of those small ones on there. So let's get another small one. Because I'd find these kind of difficult to pick up otherwise. You can see how that putty just picks it up there. I find that really helpful. All right, there's one. So one, two, three, four, five. And they put two more. So let's just do what they did. I like how their card turned out there. So they put another one down there. So just, now I put mine in a different place. So I'm gonna put one over here. I think that'll look nice. And maybe I'll put one up here in this little corner as well. 
I like how they chose to put an odd number because oftentimes an odd number for design reasons just looks better than an even number. So threes, fives, sevens, etc. So let's see if we did it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that, my friends, is the end of that card. So it's really, really super simple. And that's all you need to do to make this. And again, this particular kit is available in refill form. So it doesn't come with stamps or ink, but that's all that a refill doesn't have in it compared to the whole kit. And you can get that for $15 right now on the website for Stampin' Up. If you want to get a copy, just let me know and I can definitely help you out with that. And remember that if you're interested in trying Paper Pumpkin, the next kit, which you can only get for just a few more days, um, is this one, Home for the Holidays, and has these beautiful little sparkly village buildings. And that one... Um, is also a part of a class that I'm going to be doing. So if you've never tried it before or you just like to craft in community, I have an online class and the price of the class is just the price of the kit plus shipping. That's that's basically it uh, and tax. And uh, I'd be happy to help you out with that as well. If you want to find me online, you can just go to www.juliescraftaddict.com and I've got all kinds of info there or just send me off a message and I would be very, very happy to talk to you and to find out how I can help you out with your crafting needs as well. All right, thanks so much for watching today, friends, and have a wonderfully crafty weekend. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye for now.